This movie is a science fiction story in which a child named Koda who is transformed into a killing machine feared as Arthelais turned against her creators of planet called Mother World in search of redemption and revenge and becomes the best hope for survival of the planets against the tyrannical ruling army of the conqueror Mother World. The movie starts in a small village of the planet called Velt. A young girl named Koda works hard in the field late in the evening rowing fields. She smells the soil in compassion which gives us the feeling that she likes what she does very much. Gunnar who is a farm supervisor comes looking for her and says that everybody is waiting for her in the community hall. Koda says that she will join them as soon as she is finished in the field. In the community hall Koda sits with his foster father and eats meat which the villagers get to eat after a very long time. Koda's father wants to know her liking for Den who is the brother of the head of the village. Den is a very good hunter and he has hunted the animal for the villagers. Sindri who is the head of the village sounds very happy for a very good harvest and appeals everybody to enjoy themselves. That night when Koda comes back her father tries to persuade her to a marriage proposal with Den. In that conversation we come to know that Koda is not his real child but he got her critically wounded in a ship wreckage. Koda says that the last two seasons she stayed there made her very very happy but she is a child of war and not capable of truly love and be loved. The next morning when Koda is working in the field Sam who is a village girl accompanies her and we come to know that Koda is in a casual physical relationship with Dan. At that very moment a mighty spaceship of the planet called Mother World comes nearer. Koda runs fast towards the village and rings the alarm bell in anticipation of something very very bad. Villagers gather for a strategy to deal with the invaders. Gunnar advocates for striking a business deal with the mother world for better prices for their surplus grains. Koda warns that the ship is only here to destroy and to subjugate and to enslave but not for partnership. Sindri takes the final decision not to volunteer anything to the mother world. The drones of the mother world lands and admiral Atticus Noble comes forward and greets Sindri warmly. Sindri tells Atticus about the life in the village and offers him drinks in hospitality. Atticus wants to buy grains at a very attractive price. Sindri denies saying that there is no surplus to spare. Atticus doesn't believe and looks for the person who oversees the harvest. Gunnar gets greedy. He admits that they have very good reserve. Atticus feels misled and brutally kills Sindri. Sindri's wife screams and runs for her husband when she is struck down with a mighty sword. The villagers panicked. Atticus demands 10,000 bushels of grain from Gunnar. Gunnar cries in despair as this much of food will lead them to starvation. Atticus says she doesn't care as he wants everything. A small group of the motherland army stays back in the village to supervise the harvesting process. The commander of the army group orders private Marcus to evict the local villagers so that the army can stay comfortably. Private Edis takes the help of the motherworld robot army personnel to move things. Private Marcus and the commander misbehave with Sam. It was very clear that both of them want to exploit Sam. Private Marcus tells the commander that after the death of the king the robot army has surrendered its arms and doesn't fight back to prove his point he shot the robot soldier and humiliates him private eris doesn't like it and protests the act marcus threats eris for his life the commander mediates and stops the fight but it was evident that in spite of being a soldier of the mother world Private Ares has left some humanity in him and manners in him and that is going to cost him in future as directed by the commander the robot soldier goes to the river to clean himself sam joins him both of them has a heart to heart chat in which the robot soldier tells sam that she reminds him of the princess isa who was assassinated along with the king and queen by the most trusted bodyguards and from that day onwards the robot soldiers has dropped their weapon not to fight anymore by this gesture it seems that the robot soldier likes sam villagers regroup to discuss strategy and it is decided that they will keep up their part of the bargain to produce the promised food for the mother world and to show that 
how they are indispensable as they know the art of harvesting kora looks worried by the false hope that the villagers are dwelling on and decided to leave the village as she packs her bag her foster father tries to convince her to seek and find all the outlaws that atticus is looking for and to persuade those warriors to fight for the village kora disagrees as she thinks that this particular act would be the reason for death of all the villagers and she doesn't want to be a part of it as she prepares to leave she finds that the mother of soldiers have kept sam captive and intends to gang rape her private aries puts up a fight but is incapacitated by marcus and other soldiers the commander joins them and intends to be the first person to rape sam followed by others kora cannot hold back any longer and comes forward to save sam she fights the soldiers injures them even kills many of them no soldier was a match against kora's superior fighting skills private addis joins her and fights against his fellow soldiers the commander holds sam hostage and orders the robot soldier to kill kora the robot soldier shoots the commander in steed and leaves the place the villagers rush to the site kora declares that they all need to fight In the morning Kora prepares to leave in search for General Titus who once was the hero of the mother world but later turned his forces against that of the mother world she takes Gunnar along with her last year Gunnar sold grains to the resistance led by Bloodex siblings via a middleman resistance is a group of people fighting against the autocracy of the mother world Kora wants to find the middleman so that she can get in touch with the insurgents to convince them to fight for the cause of the village of Velt. That night, Kora and Gunnar halts for food and rest when Gunnar wants to know more about Kora. Kora tells him that she was only about 9 years old when the mother world invaded her world under the leadership of ruthless general Velasarius. Velasarius killed Kora's entire family and took Kora with him. He gave Kora a new name Arthelais and raised her as her own daughter train her to become a soldier as encouraged by the military academy Kora found a lover who later died in the field due to her supreme fighting skill Kora was made an army officer at a very early age of 18 and she fought numerous battles for the mother world and won all of them Kora and Gunnar reached to the port city of Providence in Planet Velt They witness Hackshaws who are just bounty hunters and works for the mother world. Hackshaws capture a man who Gunnar recognizes as the middleman they are looking for. Kuna wants to know if there is any other way to meet the blood ex. Gunnar tells her that it is not possible as they took shelter in a planet called Sharan under the protection of the king Levitica. As they move into a tavern, they come across different humanoid species. One of them wants to buy Gunnar from Kora for sexual pleasure. Kora denies and beat him off. Kora asks the public if they know the whereabouts of General Titus. A spider humanoid tells her that General Titus could be found in the planet called Polux. In the meantime, the creature comes back with his team and attacks Kora. Kora engages in a gunfight and kills a lot of them but finally is held at the gunpoint. Another man known as Kai saves Kora by shooting the creature. Kai offers Kora help to fly to Polux using his spaceship, but he has to make a urgent stop in the planet called New D first. Kora agrees. In the Mother World spaceship, Atticus is seen oxygenating his body when he learns that the Hackshaws are bringing him the middleman. Atticus eagerly waits to meet them. Kora, Gunnar and Kai lands in the frontier homestead of the planet called New D. They meet a man in captivity known as Tarak who is paying off his debt of 3 lakh units of money by working as a slave to his master called Hickman. Kora wants to free Tarak but she has no money. Hickman places a bet on Tarak. If Tarak can break the creature Binu out of that place, his debt will be considered as squared off with Hickman. If Tarak loses the bet, all of them will be imprisoned. Tarak takes the bet and tries to ride the creature Binu. Tarak shows his respect for Binu, talks to her, unshackles her, rides her. Binu gets rid of Tarak in the air, but Tarak rides her back. Both of them seem to be bonded, and Tarak brings her back to Hickman. 
as promised hikman lets tarak go and tries to ride binu forcibly binu kills hikman in search of more warriors they go to the cobalt mining planet called dagas they meet a woman there called nemesis and try to persuade her to join them nemesis is found busy rescuing a child from a humanoid species spider called harmada harmada vows to kill all the human children for revenge as she cannot bear child any more because of the mining activity has poisoned her body nemesis shows her skill as a fierce shod woman as she fights harmada a breath taking fight in shoes and nemesis is able to kill harmada at last and reunite the child with her mother nemesis joins koda back in the spaceship koda tells gana more about her past because of her bravery in the battlefield koda was elevated as the elite guard of princess isa who had the power to resurrect but princess isa was assassinated along with the king and the queen by their most trusted soldiers koda and her team reach the moon of polux in search of general titus they found him in a disgraced position koda convinces general titus to join her to fulfill his revenge against the mother world the hackshaws deliver the middleman to admiral atticus who executes him after getting information about the rebel blood x and blood x is ally king levitica in the planet sharan koda visits king levitica in the planet sharan the blood x fleet also reaches there koda appeals to blood x siblings to join her with their forces to fight against the mother world to protect the farmers of the planet called welt debra blood x doesn't agree as she thinks that such a small force against the mother world spaceship would be nothing but suicide her brother darian bloodex agrees to fight and calls for volunteers to join him debra and darian bids each other goodbye kai is so impressed that koda could convince the bloodex to fight for her causes that he wants to volunteer too in search of his long lost honor but before he joins koda fully he needs to deliver some packages in the planet gondival with koda's approval kai sets course for gondival admiral atticus visits king levitica in the planet sharan and brutally kills him for aiding the enemies of the mother world he destroys the planet sharan and annihilate the whole civilization on it koda along with her newly recruits reaches the unregistered trade point of gondival kai have others deliver some boxes urging not to look inside them the boxes itself are traps to capture to koda's surprise the box boxes turn into some capturing devices and trap them all mother world spaceship appears and destroys all fighter planes of the resistance kai tells koda that he is on the hunt for them for quite some time koda tries to remind him of the honor to fight against the mother world but in vain kai hands over the prisoners to admiral atticus who becomes very happy to finally capture them all and his prospect of getting elevated to the ranks Kai understands that Gunnar is in love with Koda so to torment Gunnar further he forces Gunnar to fire a bullet to paralyze Koda Gunnar fights back at the very last moment and kills Kai instead and frees Koda they free one another and put up a fierce fight against the mother world armies Koda takes lead and fight bravely general titus eliminates many soldiers nemesis puts her skill to use and slaughter many opponent soldiers Guardian gets mad in rage and attacks the pilot of the mother world ship and is able to neutralize him before the pilot shoots him to death the ship falls on the port and is destroyed in full admiral atticus stands one on one against koda both of them engage with each other and fight to their last breath and blood atticus puts up a great fight against koda but it is soon proved that he is no match to koda's military skill koda uses the admiral's weapon against him and kills him by pushing him off the depot they mourn the death of the brave bloodex who did not care for his life and proves to be havoc against the mother world spaceship the group stands together as they celebrate their first notable victory against the mother world all of them thank gana for being such brave enough at times of need and save them all they return to the village of welt which all of them called home the royal forces of mother world retrieves the corpse of admiral atticus and brings him to the mother spaceship 
we come to know that admiral atticus is nothing but a robot run by artificial intelligence he is set for transmission of signal to belisarius belisarius gives him the job to crush the resistance to the last man and bring cora alive so that he can torture her to death technicians revive the body and consciousness of atticus with a promise of next season if you have come this far please subscribe to our channel like it and kindly share thank you